Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you another example of how you can build Key Performance Indicator or KPI card using Power BI. Previously, I've made another video on a similar content and I've provided the link below. In this video, I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step process in a greater detail. So let's get started. I'm going to walk you through how to transform and prepare your data set for KPI metrics before we move on to build our KPI visual card. So here are the data sets that I've uploaded into our Power BI worksheet. The first home insurance uh, data set is a data set that I've downloaded from Kaggle website. And the KPI icon data set contains a web links, web URL for specific KPI score. In preparation of our data set, we have to first transform and summarize it before we can present it visually in a KPI card. For the purpose of this example, we'll be looking at risk ratings as KPI metric. And ABC Home Insurance as a company has decided that they would like their home insurance product to cover areas with a specific target risk rating. So we'll be looking at this column, risk rated area B as our risk rating metric, and also the cover star column as our timeline. So first, I'd like to transform by altering the cover start column and I would like to split it into month, day, and year. So to do that, I'll go to home and transform data. From here, I'm going to go to split column by delimiter. And in here, we'll set the delimiter to slash and then click OK. As you can see, the cover start column is separated into three columns, one representing day, month, and year. I'm going to rename the year column to cover year because I'll be using that for my visual. Once you're done with that, click close and apply. And so the changes will be applied to your um, data model. Let's quickly have a look to see if the changes are in fact applied. So where is that? So we can see the cover year right here. Next step is to create a measure to calculate the average risk rating, uh, which we will then be using that to show the average risk per year. To do this, we'll right click on home insurance and new measure and here we will write out the dex function using the average function and by choosing the right column Next, we'll summarize the average risk rating by cover your inner table. To do that, we'll click on new table and we'll name our table measure by year and we'll use our summarize function and the first argument is the table name followed by the group by column which is our um, cover year column. I'm just going to name it risk B average and then followed by the column the column um, name. Perfect. This is our new measure by year table and we can sort the cover year to see the trend. From here I'm going to create a new column for our risk target and I'm going to name this risk B target and set it to equal to 10. Next let's create a column for our risk KPI. So we'll click on new column 
and we'll name our KPI column this B KPI and we'll use the dex function if and put in a logical test to say that if our wrist for the year is greater than the target the rating will be 3 if the risk for the year is less than our target then the rating will be 1 else if it's on target then the rating will be 2 Lastly, I like to format both the race columns to show whole numbers with two decimal points. In order to analyze the performance of our risk rating KPI and to answer the question how well is our risk rating KPI faring this year compared to prior years, we will be building a KPI visual card. Let's start by building a line chart. So we'll pick line chart from the build visual panel and from here we'll add the cover year on the x-axis and then the average risk on the y-axis followed by the target on the same y-axis. I'm going to start by formatting the axis. So for the x-axis, I'm going to change the uh, font size to 14, color to black, and the title, I'm going to set it as cover underscore here, with the font to be this one, and size to be 14. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for y-axis. Two, 14 and the title to risk B average change the form and there you have it then I'll turn off the legend and I'll turn on the markers then I'll head over to General and change the title to Risk B Average by Cover here and I'll change the font to the one I want and align it middle. Next we'll create three separate measures, one for the current average risk another one for the target wrist, and the last one for the KPI icon. So to create the measure, I'll click New Measure. I'm going to name the first one Risk B Average Current. I'll be using the DEX function Calculate, and then Selected Value. To select um, the average risk filter by the year measure cover year equals to max measure cover year. So this way it will select the uh, most current year. For target risk measure, I created using the same method by using the calculate dex function followed by selected value and filtered by the most current year. To build the risk KPI measure, we'll start by creating new measure. I will name it risk B KPI and this time we're going to be using a lookup value function and, and it takes three arguments. The first is the result column name, and this will be the icon URL, followed by the search column name, and this will be the KPI key, and the search value will then be um, the KPI from um, the most current year. So calculate selected value. Uh, here I'll be selecting 
the KPI, filter, I'm going to close parentheses, filter by the most current year. Measure cover year equals to max measure cover year. Okay, close parentheses. Make sure we have all the parentheses correct. Um, okay, I think I have, yep, there you go. Lastly, now that we have all of our measures ready, we can continue building our visual card. For current average risk and target risk, we'll be using the card visual. We'll click on the card visual, and we're going to drag the current average risk, and we'll do the same thing for target risk. For the risk KPI, we'll be using a table instead. And we're going to drag the risk KPI over here and then make sure that we set the data category to image URL for the icon to show up. There you have it. With a little bit of formatting, adding colors and changing fonts, we've come to the final version of our risk KPI visual card. On the left, we have our line chart and on the right, we have our current average risk, target risk and our icon on display.